Hi and welcome to the Studio Marco Primo. As some of you might know, I'm preparing a video about spectral layers and I found a little bug that I want to submit to you if you have a solution. If not, we're going to try to ask uh, Magix about it. Um, so let me show you right away. All right, this is quite simple. When you add the spectral layers plugin in Samplitude, it can't find any data. Um, you must add the plugin directly on the object. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to select a few objects. Uh, first, we're going to ungroup them. Ungroup. And then what I want to do is remove some ble some bleeding. So I'm going to select some tracks. Let's see the bass drum tracks and the snare tracks and the tom tracks, let's say. Okay, so we double click on one. And since they are selected, the plugin will be added on each of them at the same time. So we go spectral layers and then we see all the tracks that we assigned the plugin to but the problem is they all have the same name because they were recorded at the same time it's named upon the count of the takes so takes 06 if we want to change that we need to deactivate the plugin and then go rename the takes. Go back to the object editor and right here, change the name. Then we can click on another one. And another one. Hey, it's time to subscribe and click on like if you like the video. All right. And then we can apply our spectral layer plugin. Double click. And you see now they have the name. I searched in the help file and online and I can't find a way to have the object name be uh, the same as the track name when we record. So it's always only the take name. If any one of you know how, please say so in the comments and I will do a video explaining it. So as you saw, it's a little thing, but if some of you ask the answer or maybe uh, Magix can put that in their next development for the next revision, that could be nice. Anyway, if you like that kind of video, don't forget to click on like, consider subscribing, hit the bell to get notifications. And of course, go in the description. There's some links to buy Magix products and some merch. And of course, in the comments, put any questions and suggestions for future videos. If you want help, there is also a nice way to do it. Share my videos. It's always a great help.